get him out of there and deal with the next guy. Dusty Lewis stepping in now for the Yankees. Out towards right center field. Thompson racing after it. And that one hops the wall. He's not stopping. On his way home. Not in time. He makes it safely for an inside-the-park home run. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Boog. Always fun to see an inside the parker. And, man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting the second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's just great hustle from start to finish. Next to hit, Earl Combs. Here comes the 0-1. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Tied up here in the early going. Back to the mound. It hit him. Tosses to first, and yeah, they get the out. That one got him pretty good, but perhaps the silver lining is that it got him in his non-throwing arm, Chris. Yeah, assuming there's nothing broken in there, I think he should be able to shake this one off. But, man, that can't feel good. He's going to have a pretty nice bruise at the very least, that's for sure. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mark Collins grounded out to short in his first trip. Collins measures 5 feet 10 inches, 185 pounds, and he's usually a third baseman, but today he's starting at shortstop. High fly ball out towards left field. That's got a chance. Gone! He sends one out the opposite way, and the Yankees have the lead. It's 3-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair.